hey beautiful thank you for stopping by my channel today my name is chisom for those that have been supporting me so far i am really grateful i just want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you for your support i do not take any of them for granted now on today's video we'll be drafting a six pieces princess that's blouse it is so beautiful and beginner friendly if this is something you're interested in keep on watching and let's get into the tutorial so i've gone ahead to mark out my horizontal lines i have my shoulder line my chest line bust point under bust my waistline and the full dress length that's 23 inches so i'll go ahead and put my circumference measurement First, I'll impute my shoulder measurement divided by 2 on the shoulder line and I'll put that same figure on the chest line and I'll make a mark, a broken mark because it is going to be a temporary mark. Next thing is to impute my shoulder slope. I use 1.5 inches for the shoulder slope and I'll put neck width circumference and neck depth circumference. Here I use 4 inches for the width and 4 inches for the depth. You can go ahead and impute any kind of neckline style that you want. From the top of the neckline, I came down by 0.5 and from the top of the shoulder, I came down by 1.5 and I connected these lines together. This is to tighten the neckline because this neckline circumference is a bit wider and if you don't tighten it, there will be a gaping around the neckline. So this is to prevent gaping whatsoever around the neckline. On the chest line, I'll impute my bust measurements divided by 4. And on the waist line, I'll impute my waist measurement divided by 4 plus 1.5 inches that allowance. I'm going to be taking 0 0.5 inches on both sides of the dart. That times 2 is 1.5 inches. That is what I will put on my waist line. Then on the blouse length, I'll impute my hips measurements divided by 4. Then I'll go ahead and connect the points. Next is to mark out my armhole curve. To do that from the chest line, I'll go up by 3 inches. And on that 3 inches mark, I'll go in by 0 0.5 inches for the armhole curving. And I'll use my curve ruler and connect the points. Next thing to do is to take the dart measurement. So on the bust point line, I'll mark my nipple to nipple divide by 2 on the bust point and I'll mark it on the full blouse length as well. Then I'll make the points into a straight line. On the blouse lens, I'll take 0 0.2 on both sides of the dart leg, which means I am going to be taking half inch dart allowance on that side. On the waistline, I'll take 0 0.75 on each side of the dart leg. I'll go ahead and connect the dart points that I have made. From the waist, I'll take it to the bust points line with a straight ruler. On the hemline, I will connect that 0 0.25 marks I have to the waistline. Next, I'll go ahead and replace the dart intake I have on the hemline. I'll mark it on the side and I'll connect it to the waistline like this. The next step is to take the side that the side that is the difference between the front and the back bodies. So this side that will help the front and the back sides meet with each other. I'll take it to the post point, which is our that point. On 
I'll get the midpoints of these dots, come out by 0 0.75 and connect the point to the chest line and the waist line. Next, I'll go ahead and plot the armhole princess dot. To do that, I'll connect from the bust point to the mid armhole point with a slight curve. On that first curve, I'll come down by one inch for the armhole dart intake. Just as I am doing now, I'll come down by one inch and we connect it back to the bust point. And I'll extend the line out of the armhole because I'll be using that to replace the dart intake of one inch that I have on the armhole. So I'll be marking out one inch and I will recurve the armhole. The next step is to tighten the underboss. So on the underboss line, I'll measure to check what I have there so I will know the excess inches I'll be taking out. I have excess of 1.5 inches, so I'll go ahead and put half inch on the center side from the center side and one inch on the middle side and i'll connect the points with my curve please watch what i am doing carefully if you don't already know how to do this this is one of the methods of tightening the under bust area So we are done with the front pattern, now we will move over to the back pattern. I have already gone ahead to mark out my horizontal lines for the back measurement. So first thing to do is on the waistline, I will come in by 0 0.75 inches or 1 inch just as you prefer. You can use 0 0.5, 0 0.75 or 1 inch. I will connect the mark to the shoulder line and I will take it down to the length of the blouse this is to make the back to relax on the back side because we all know that our back side have some kind of deepness i'll go ahead and mark out my shoulder measurements on the shoulder line and put same figure on the chest line i'll connect this with a broken line I'll put down my shoulder slope, mark out my neck measurement. Then I'll tighten the neck width with 0 0.5. I'll go ahead and finish up the markings of the measurement. I believe we already know how to do this. I'm marking out my dart intake. everything the same as I did for the front pattern. The only difference is the back tightening. So I'll go ahead and plot the armhole princess that for the back pattern. I'll connect from the boss point to the mid armhole, just like I did for the front. But for this back, we are not going to be tightening the armhole because the back is just going to lay flat. We don't want any puffy, side now this sharp points i'll go ahead and blend it up then we'll be extending the back armhole by 0 0.5 and recurve the armhole this is all there is to princess that pattern making i'll go ahead and label the pattern before cutting it out so we are going to cut this out to alter it to six pieces pattern. After cutting out the pattern, you can choose to use another pattern for the alteration. 
but I'll be altering this directly on the fabric. You go ahead and place your pattern on your fabric and mark out your required sewing allowance. On the hemline, I added extra 1.5 inches because I don't want to be adding allowance on the lining. Then on that new hemline, I'll be extending it by 4 inches. You can extend this by 3 inches or 3.5 as the case may be, depending on how full you want it. Now on that extension line, I'll I'll connect it to the waistline. You can also choose to connect it to the under bust line, the bust point, or even the neckline. This is dependent on the style you're trying to achieve. So this is basically how to extend the inches. You extend it on the hemline and connect it to wherever point you want the flare to start. I hope I did not confuse anyone then to avoid sharp edges on the flay you go up by one inch from the down part go up by one inch this is to cover out the flay so that it will not be sharp it will not have any sharp edge same thing i did on this side i'll go ahead and do it on the other side as well So this is basically how to add fullness to your straight patterns. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. After cutting it out, we'll be joining the pieces together. This is the front pattern. To join the pattern, I'll go ahead and join the sides to the center. This is the center front. I'll go ahead and join this side to this side and this side to this side. So I'll also do the same for the back pattern. These are the center back sides and this is the side and the other side. So I'll go ahead and join this side and join this side. So I'm done joining the pieces together. This is what the front looks like. I also went ahead to iron the seam line open. This is the inside, okay, this is the inside and this is the outer side. Here is the back pieces. I've joined the breast sides together. Okay, so the next thing I'll go ahead and join the back to the front side by side. Okay, I'll place it like this join it by the sides i also want ahead to join the lining pieces together because i'll be attaching a lining to this so the same way i joined the fabric is the same way i joined the um, lining lining to lining fabric to fabric so i'll go ahead and join the sides together i'll join the sides i'll join the shoulders together and then i'll bring it and show you the results after joining the sides together and the shoulders together i'll go ahead and attach my zipper i'll face the front side of the zipper down to face the right side of the fabric and i pinned it down so this is how i'm going to sew it so there are lines here i'll follow the lines closely and sew all the way to the top after joining this side i'll go ahead and join it to the other side i'll be closing this side down with the lining so i gave like one inch before placing the zipper so i'll go ahead and sew the zipper after attaching the zipper i will then attach the lining to the fabric okay this is how i'll attach the lining to the fabric first of all i will attach it from the bottom side from the downside i'll sew it all the way to the other end then i will drag it to the top because the lining is shorter than the fabric by one inch so after joining it on the downside 
i'll drag it up to the neckline and join it to the neckline after joining it to the neckline i will bring it towards the zipper side okay and join it all the way down join this other side all the way down i'll bring it and show you the result so this is the result after attaching the lining i've attached the zipper this is what the inside looks like okay i'm going to zip it up for you to see This is the inside you can see how neatly finished it is this is the zipper side so the next thing to do is to go ahead and attach any sleeve of your choice to this blouse I'll go ahead and attach my sleeve and I will show you the end result while attaching the sleeve please make sure you pick the lining pieces together so that it will not be separate from the fabric when you're joining ensure you hold the lining pieces you can first of all use a stitch to hold down the lining to the fabric on the armhole before you go ahead and attach your sleeve so this is the sleeve that I'll be using for this blouse. I'll go ahead and attach it and show you the final result. So this is the finished look. You can tell it is so beautiful and classy. This top, you can wear it to wherever you deem fit and you will stand out. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, kindly give me a thumbs up, drop your comments in the comment section, share this video and subscribe to this channel for more video. Thank you.